Hey, what's going on, everybody? Before I start the video, I wanted to let y'all know that I work at a feed yard, so most of the video is going to be uh, here at the feed yard. I thought it'd be pretty cool to show y'all how a feed yard is ran and what I do during throughout the day. <clears throat> it's uh, it's never the same thing every day. It's not like uh, any other job where you got your set thing doing, set thing you got to do every single day. Um, there's a few things that I do routinely do. But other than that, um, I just fix whatever's broke. And if there's nothing broke, I just fill in holes. And I'll get to that later in the video. But anyways, I just want to let y'all know, let y'all know before uh, y'all continue on with this video. Anyways, let's get started with the video. So it's calf season again. I got three back at the house, and then there was another born, another one born a few days ago. And uh, it was in the hospital, so I kind of thought maybe the one of the cowboys took it there and was waiting on it. So I asked them yesterday and they said that no one's gonna take it. And it's still alive and it's running around, it looks pretty healthy. I don't know why they don't want it. <clears throat> but I'm gonna take it home today. Right now I got a, uh, I'm at work and I got a, a leak and I gotta change it out. Where's it at? Yeah. Gotta change out the copper line. They use copper because in the winter, in the winter, the whenever it gets cold, sometimes it frees up, and it frees up if you use a if you use a water hose, it'll freeze up and bust the with the line right there. But let me get this fixed up, and then I will show you my three calves. Well, I'll show you this one first, me loading it up and taking it. I'm probably gonna take it right now during lunch so I can give it some some milk at the house and some medicine. All right, so right now I'm gonna get the fittings. They're right here. And hold on, just take it out real. Quick. And I just lost that. Anyways, um, there's this right here. You put it at the end of the copper line to screw it in. There's another another part that goes in here that I just dropped. But I got more right here. This goes inside right there. And then the copper line. I'm gonna record most of this right here because it's windy out there and uh, y'all probably ain't gonna be able to hear me. This right here, you put this one in first and then the other one, and then you flush it, which just means you open that up. So whenever you screw it on to the to the hose part, I don't know what it's called, honestly. Anyways, when you screw it on there, if it opens like that and then you tighten this on it, then the part up from the inside kind of like close it up on it so it won't be leaking as bad. Or so it won't leak, I mean. And uh, I'll show you the other one. Most of these, last year I changed 15. And this year I've only changed, and some of them I had to change like two to three times. I get a leak on, in the on the water line uh, between the each water trough, that's what they're called, where they drink out of. I had several leaks right there, and then whenever you have a leak right there, you gotta dig it up and change all that. Close it up, uh, put the dirt back in it. And then sometimes the, the dirt or some little pebbles get in there. And y'all see how thin this is. So it get a little pebble will get stuck. And then the little hose part that you connect that to, it gets even a little smaller. So any little thing can clog it up. And I had some over there because the guy that was here, close this up. The guy that was here before me, he wasn't really doing jack squat. And, uh. Right now, I've been filling in holes, especially right next to the water troughs, because that's whenever they dig into it, and they like eating the, the not the manure, the dirt, until they get to the water line, and then, you know, as heavy as they are, they just got to press on a little bit, and they break it, and water comes out, and it starts shooting down the pit and making a mess, and then it gets over there to a little pot hole, and then water gets in there, and then cattle from that other pen start digging that up, or start stepping on it, and then... It becomes mud, they get softer and get lower and they start digging on the dirt and the same thing happens. It was pretty bad, I'm telling you. Every single pen, almost every single pen had a huge, huge hole. Like six, seven cows fit in it. It was pretty bad right now. I just got a few and I, I'm catching up. I'm trying to do it little by little. And uh, anyways, let me get that, that done before it gets too late. Anyways, hope you have a good one. There is the leak. I didn't get it yet. 
last, I did it yesterday because I was cleaning up that one over there and I was cleaning up this manure right here. It's a little too high, it's supposed to be a little lower. So whenever they come, come drink water, they won't be too high and they won't be ducking their heads too low, a little more comfortable. Right, I was cleaning that side up and accidentally, I was cleaning that side up and accidentally got the, the bucket under, under this and picked it up and it fell and I broke that pipe which isn't really a big deal and I broke that but it has that metal up, up there and that's where the water's at so this isn't that big of a deal about right anyways that's that's how the leak gets done overnight yeah, let me get this fixed up. I'm gonna have to cut that one out. Or take it off and then cut it up the line and put it on. Hopefully it has hopefully it has a shut off valve right there. Do that, but first I gotta dig all that up. And that that really stinks when I ate because that smell sticks in your it goes inside your pores and it stays there for hours and sometimes even after I get home and wash my hands, it still stinks like it. Really bad, but if I use gloves, I can't really grab grab anything. I had to dig it out, and it doesn't have a shut off valve. Oh, I got boogers. It is 50 degrees out here. And the wind is blowing at 20 something miles an hour and it feels like 43 and with that cold water that water's like I don't know it feels like 40 degrees too and when that wind hits you it's a lot colder they had to wash it off a little bit so right now I'm just gonna go turn off the water and go pick up that cab and go to lunch and come back and fix that So in here, the pressure's 45 PSI, that's a little motor, and there's the heater for when it's cold, plug in box and all that. Anyways, this is where I gotta shut the water line. This one goes to the pins, right here, that's off, and then this one is for the feeders, they add some, they add some minerals in there and the food and the feed for the cattle so that's off and like I said the cows got to drink water and get that pressure down because if I try to do that it's 45 psi so it's gonna be really hard to get it on there so you gotta you gotta wait for the pressure to go down so I can change it out for now I'm just gonna go to lunch so, yeah let's go all right I'm gonna go pick up that calf first and then go to lunch huh? well she's heavy it really is Got her right here. About to give her her shots. These two are vitamins, and I'll give her some penicillin. Vitamin D and vitamin B12. Give that to all my calves. And that seems to work with all these. There are eight of them. Then my horse right there. Of course, he gets my shots. Anyways, I'm about to feed her her bottle which this one's about to drink, or want to drink, so she can uh, enjoy her food first. Let her enjoy her food first, and then I'll give her the shots. And then, there's our other ones. <laughs> I got them right there, because it is it has been cold. I got the heat lamp right there, so it won't be too cold. And then here's another one, which, we put them in there. I was thinking about moving this house over here a little bit just so it can dry up because I got a, a plug in up there. But since the chickens have been laying chickens have been laying eggs, that rooster over there. Don't let me talk. Since they've been laying eggs right there, we don't want to move them. Because then if you move them, the, the chicken's not gonna wanna lay down anymore. There's our chickens right there. But it's that one over there that's not letting me talk. There he goes again. I'm a little sweepy. 
and her, the cat. Anyways, let me feed them real quick so I can go eat. And then I'll show y'all these right now too. Let me just feed her first. So she did want to eat. You can kind of see that other one over there. Anyway, she didn't want to eat and I'm not about to force her because she was just spitting it all out. And that's what I did with these guys. If they don't want to eat, I wouldn't feed them. And once they get hungry, they'll eat. I used to have a a different type of bottle that, you sh that has a little uh, plastic pipe. It goes in their throat. And it's, there's two sides. One, the left side is for the for them to breathe, then the right side is for for their food and their milk. <clears throat> Anyways, when you shove it in there, you got to be very careful not to, first of all, hurt them and make sure it goes down the right pipe. You don't want to drown them either. <clears throat> Anyways, that's my little, the only male right now. The rest of them are heifers. The other, the other one's a baldy, just like this one. And baldy just means a uh, white head, white face. Anyways, let me go inside, go inside and eat, and then <clears throat> my wife will come out here and feed them at, I think, three or four, and then she will feed, she'll feed them all, and then she'll try to feed that, the new one again, too. but I just remembered I didn't give her a shot. So let me just do that real quick. And that has to go into in the neck. Anyway, like I said, let me just give her the shot so I can go eat. And then my wife will come back out later. Alright, so I am done. It's filling up and I'll show you right now. All the cows are thirsty. Anyways. Here is the old one that was in there. It's pretty damn long. I don't know. I don't know why they waste so much. It doesn't take much. Just straight line through, and that's it. I just had to dig all that up with my bare hands. You can see how freaking dirty. And it sucks because he. I had a pee as soon as I started digging. And you don't want to be touching nothing with this. It, yeah, I'm telling you, this thing is... Look at these cows. They're pretty damn thirsty, I understand that. But, I need the pressure to build up right here. Sorry. I need the pressure to build up right here. So, the pressure can build up in the line. So the pressure can build up in the line, and I can tell... If there's a leak or not, right now with no no pressure in it, I'm not gonna see any water right now. I don't see any water, but like I said I want some pressure in. I want some pressure in it, just to know for sure that there's not gonna be a leak. Anyways, you can see those cows over there. Then there's another water trough right there, and the cows pass that. I'm sorry, my my phone sucks. So Y'all gonna have to take my work for me. Okay, you show off the water. Look right here, they're biting it, lifting it up, lifting that up. And eventually, some of them do break it. They get into that. You can tell right there. And that's the float, that's what stops the water from filling up. That's what stops the water from filling up. And they get into it, they break, and then it, same thing. This, I'm gonna have to go buy every other pen to make sure that they're not leaking. So I'm done with the with the leak. Now I'm filling holes like like I said earlier in the video. That's one, it's not really that bad. But the water line does go around right here and on from over there and those tanks over there that you see. And they continue on over there. Then here's another one. So I'm gonna get all these filled up real quick. And those wet spots right there, after a while they'll start stepping on it then. 
Knock right there. And then over there, that darker brown. No, these windows are a little bit dirty. But yeah, I'm gonna fill these in before they get too too bad. I just wanted to show y'all. See, here's the cement. And then, see how tall that is right there? Then these cows are pretty damn big. And there's some other ones that are bigger. And they haven't dug down to get their water. So that's why I'm gonna clean this up and put up right here, all this hole right here. Put all that manure right here. And this manure is like pretty, it's like concrete almost. I'll show you over here. And so it's like concrete, it'll pretty much settle in. It's pretty hard, even for me to break it. I'm done, so I'm gonna push this counter back to the pen. And you better be careful with these because they can run you over. These are all stairs, they're bulls. So it's feeding time. This one's all happy, and this one over here too. And that's the new one, and that's the oldest back there laying down. She is looking a little sick. So since that one was licking that sob, that uh, plastic over there, put the rocks all over there. So hopefully she. Drink licks that I mean, and this one came over here to lay down. I'm gonna go get some medicine, give her some more penicillin and some vitamins. I don't know what's wrong with her. She almost finished her bottle. Have that much left, and she was eating like like she was hungry. So I don't know why she stopped and she doesn't want anymore. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like this video, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, then leave me a comment telling me how I can improve. That would be very appreciated. So let me go get the medicine, give it to her. And yeah, have a great rest of the day.